Assalamu alaikum, bismillah. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I just wanted to intro this video just to share a little bit about what I've been doing in Dakar for the week. I've just spent the week in Dakar at a training on food transformation processes, innovation, and labeling. I'm a community economic development volunteer. So, what that basically means is that I work with my community to help them in increase their business practices as it relates to agribusiness and waste management. I'm in a farming community, there's tons of agribusiness going on. So Peace Corner in Dakar partnered with an organization called AMD, which is African Millennium Development Institute to host a one-week training in the capital, in Dakar, on food transformation processes, harmonization, which just means bringing in the synergy, innovation, and labeling. So we've been in Dakar for the last week. There were five Peace Corps volunteers that were chosen. Each of us got to bring a counterpart, a member of our community that's already working in agribusiness, in addition to, um, to that there were also 15 other people who applied through their Shamu de Commerce and Shamu de Metier. So it's been five Peace Corps volunteers and 20 people from various regions within Senegal came together in Dakar to spend a week training here. Um, we are all being taught by Amdi. This is Peace Corps volunteers coming to learn from the people that are doing the work in the community. So Amdi is a full Senegalese um, organization. They have three different areas of focus right now, health, um, engineering, and agribusiness. So we are at the Institute for Agribusiness learning for the week. We talked about just standardizing our recipes, how to measure exact sugar content and other hygienic processes. But I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the facility and then show you the products that we ended up making during the week-long training. I was able to bring one woman from my town. She is a president of a women's association that does food transformation on Isap, which is hibiscus. She does baobab, which is bui and wolof. Um, she does peanuts and all other kind of things. So it was really nice for her to be here. I'm so happy that she was able to come. So let me show you the products that we have here. These are all the things that we made in the last week. So I'll just show you one. This is Moringa. So we did, talked about labeling. And of course you see the Peace Corps logo there. <laughs> but yeah, this is really, really, really nutritious. It's all just natural and really, really good for you. Um, the only downside is that Senegalese culture, they love sugar. So everything here is probably a lot, a lot sweeter than I personally would like it and a lot sweeter than um, you know, it would necessarily go for in America, but this is stuff that's geared towards the Senegalese market, so um, it's sort of formulated with their taste buds in mind. Um, but other than that, everything here is super organic and all that good stuff. And let me show you my outfit. Got this jacket made recently. It's not exactly what I wanted, but roll with the punches. And this is a dress that I got actually thrifted when I went back to America. So this is my like business casual fit. And yeah, I'll give you a little tour. All right, so this is on the first floor. Um, it's a laboratory that has an attached classroom. So we have an industrial size sink, an industrial size blender over there. Um, then we also have another blender on the side that can also heat up um, materials that go inside of there. So you just heat it up, put it in there, and it also will blend or puree your items. Um, and then we go over here and um, we have this gas tank situation. So that's the propane tank. Um, and then here we have, this is a water purifier. So this is where we get all of the filtered water. Everything that we use, uh, we use filtered water to prepare. So as soon as you exit the laboratory, you have the stairs that go upstairs to where the classrooms are located. Now, as I mentioned, Amdi um, has three separate institutes. So 
these are some of the other things that the Institute would train people on international commerce, transportation, logistics, marketing. Um, there's a medical section as well. So I just think that they're such a great organization to train people to enter into the workforce. Now, we were training specifically at the Agribusiness Institute, um, which is located in the Liberty CCs section of Dakar. So I just really liked how the facilities were modern. The Amdi Agro building is three floors, and it just really came equipped. Like the classrooms were boardroom style, they were projectors. So I just really loved that it was a very updated and modern facility. And here's just a little bit more of Dakar. Such a vibe. <laughs> Et finalement, ben bon, améliore, améliore, pour négliger, bon, pour que ce soit. On va faire l'année de quoi. Voilà, ensuite, image. Ma bonne image, la bugue de l'envoi. Produit. Et souvent, il faut aller tiers ou after. L'année de maïdior. Est-ce que le maïdior est un produit artisanal? Est-ce que le maïdior est un produit industriel? Est-ce que le maïdior est un produit industriel? Est-ce que le maïdior est un produit industriel? Maintenant, ce qu'on va faire, Oui, je ne parle même pas de produit, mais tu sais, c'est que le filière est gagné, le connect. Est-ce que réellement, il y a des gens qui ont fait des valeurs de gagné pour nous montrer que nous avons fait un label collectif Parce que la formation de gagné, l'innovation qui se met au cœur, dégage une pistule, nous avons fait des gens qui ont 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 fait des gens qui So now I'll walk you through the products that we made. First, he made a coconut and ginger. It's sort of like an energy ball. Um, the next thing that we have here is a confiture de melon, which is essentially a melon jam. They use the word melon for all sort of melon fruits, but I think the one that we used here was a cantaloupe. We also made a jelly of coconut and ginger, which is really, really good. The next thing we have here is a ginger syrup. So the thing with the syrup is that you just add water to it and then it sort of makes juice. Um, so it's essentially a concentrate. And then we have the moringa syrup as well, which was so delicious. Moringa on its own can be a tad bitter, so we did add a lemon and a little bit of ginger to it. But that is my absolute favorite and I cannot wait to make that. Here we have a syrup of soup. Um, I don't know what the English word for soup is, but it's sort of like a bitter fruit. Um, it's supposed to be really healthy for you. Um, the Senegalese love it. I'm not particularly fond of it, but c'est la vie. Um, here we have a syrup of bisap. So bisap is just hibiscus and as the woman was mentioning, hibiscus um, comes in two colors, red and white. So the red one is what gives it the really, really rich color. Here we have a sort of yogurty drink. Um, so we have a cocktail of bui and carousel. So bui is blah blah, I'll put a picture on the screen, and carousel is sour sap. They did add 
milk to it for it to become like sort of creamy and food coloring to get the color so it's sort of like a yogurty drink but it's so good and so healthy for you next we have a nectar or a juice of melon again so I think this is also cantaloupe yeah so it's just a cantaloupe drink here we have the yogurt drink again the baobab and sour sap drink this one doesn't have the coloring so this is a natural color um, baobab and sour sap are white here we just made a ginger juice here we made a moringa juice as well um, here we have another sort of smaller container of the Bui and Carousel yogurt drink. And then finally we have a juice of Bisap. Now the difference between juice and syrup is just the concentration of sugar within the mixture. So your juices are going to be ready to drink, you just open up the bottle. Whereas your syrups are going to be more concentrated so you do need to dilute them with water if you're going to create a drink out of them. Now everything that we made, we did pasteurize it, so we heated it up for a while and let it cool, but we did not add any preservatives to it. The reason why we made syrups is just that some people like to make large batches of drinks, um, or you could add the syrup to you know, a cake or things like that. So this is everything that we made. I'm super happy of what we accomplished, and I can't wait um, to take this back to my community. Directeur du programme de développement économique communautaire. Euh, après cela, nous allons donner la parole aux participants. Euh, deux participants, deux professionnels, un homme et une femme, parce qu'on parle de parité, n'est-ce pas Et nous allons aussi donner la parole à une participante euh, parmi les cinq volontaires qui ont suivi la formation. Aussi dans les, les dates du désert. En quelque sorte, c'est un puits de forestier euh, qu'on retrouve tout au Sénégal, sur l'axe nord, donc dans les zones désertiques, et qui a un vertu euh, vraiment euh, qui sert à régulariser la tension artérielle. Ceux qui sont hyper tendus, souvent le consomme pour un peu, donc ça détruit la tension. Vous avez ici le sirop de Moringa. Donc là, c'était de la boisson de Moringa, et là, vous avez donc le sirop de Moringa. On se fait, voilà. Je <coughs> Vraiment, We made it to the end of the closing ceremony where we just shared all that was made with all of the attendees. Here we do have Peace Corps, Senegal's Director of the Community Economic Development Program, as well as the Head Director of Amdi Agro. They all were in agreement that the products were delicious. Now, because all of the people who attended the training do have their own business, I won't be sharing the recipes from the training. Um, I don't want to give that away. But if anyone who is watching is in Peace Corps and is doing some sort of agribusiness work and you have questions or just want me to point you in the direction, um, please do reach out to me and let me know. I'm happy to share any resources that I can. Thanks for watching so much and see you next time. Bye.